Hey there everybody, this is Lasora and in this quick video tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to create a speed ramp effect in your footage using Final Cut Pro 10.4. With that being said, let's get started. First thing first, let's select the clip. Find your starting point in which you want your speed ramp to begin. And bring up the blade speed tool by simply holding shift and then B on your keyboard. Once you've got that, go ahead and find the end point where you want your speed ramp to stop. Bring out the blade speed tool once again by pressing shift and then B on your keyboard. Now go ahead and set the variable retiming by simply clicking this down arrow key to drop down the menu. Select fast and choose your desired speed. For this clip, I'm choosing the 20 times speed option. Moving on, let's decrease the transition falloffs for a more dramatic look and feel to the footage by simply decreasing the length of these grey bars. Let's take a look at what we've got. I'll replay that again. Let's say you want to have a speed ramp effect in the transition between two clips. It's super simple, what you've got to do is find the starting speed ramp point near the end of your first clip, select it, and then press shift and then B on your keyboard. Set the timing, decrease the grey transition falloffs bar, jump onto the beginning of your second clip to find your speed ramp end point. Select it, hold shift and then B on your keyboard. Set the desired timing, decrease the grey bar and then you're done. Let me play that one more time. So that's it for today's tutorial everybody. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you find this somewhat useful and if you did, please leave it a like and also subscribe for more short films and Final Cut Pro tutorials like this one. If you have any questions or suggestions, comment down below. I'll be more than happy to help. Good luck with your project and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.